Hey guys, today's a landmark shave because we're going to be completing this little row of 10 right there. That means 250 shaves on this NASA. Pretty wild, huh? Got the uh, paper. This is the original wax paper that came with it. It got a little wet yesterday, so I unfolded it and laid it flat. We are going to be putting that in the same razor as yesterday, the piccolo handle and the open comb head. And uh, it's the same head as the grande. And we're going to be using the soap, the soap from Fine Accoutrements. This is their ceramic shave bowl. They're going out of, they're being discontinued. Apparently it wasn't all that popular. I love them to death. And so I did buy a couple of backups. Um, this is my color for the orange, uh, orange citrus that uh, the fine has. Uh, Italian citrus, maybe uh, what the name is actually. And uh, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna put a little, little water on top. It doesn't need a lot. It'll load pretty quick. And uh, let us show you the brush. This is the Samog. C5 Torga, a premium bore bristle brush from Samoog, and it's been working great. It's different than their usual line because it is uh, shorter in loft, so it's scrubbier. And they made it thicker too, and so that scrubbiness is pulled out and divided, uh, or rather spread apart, which actually keeps it fairly comfortable. And a lot of the tips have split, but there's a, a lot more that have not, and it's just gonna get better and better with use. All right, let's show you the razor blade that's inside the razor at the moment. There's the nasset, and there's the three dots there that have kind of always, that have been on it for a while now. You can still see the remnants of that original X legs right there. And as always, that is facing toward the handle. And that's nothing, it's not something you should do. It's just kind of a scientific experiment I'm doing. Okay, now with Fatips, you do have to check the centering of the blade. And yep, it's good. All right. Sometimes it takes a little effort, a few seconds to, uh, to get it centered. But I think it's something that you get with skill it comes easier and easier all right so get my face wet and about a 24 hour beard that's what i've got going on me right now and we are able to just jump right into loading let's just do a, a 20 second load Lightly wet brush, shake up most of the water out. Fine loads pretty quick. This one was actually one that was um, that I got in a glass mason jar because the, that's what the previous guy had it in, and it was actually pretty soft. And so I'm wondering if he left it moist a little bit, and so that worked its way through the soap and it's hardened up now because I've uh, I've left it out kind of with a little bit of ventilation. All right, so let's load 20 seconds, and we'll start when it says 45. So then we'll go to when it says 05. Definitely have uh, plenty of water in this mix here. Almost done. It is overflowing, and that is just fine. And there we go. That's 20 seconds. So it's a, it's a very wet load here. Be curious. It should be enough. You can always come back to the to the soap if we need to. Handle these jars carefully. Whether it's something like Mitchell's wool fat with a ceramic jar there too, because you know it's soapy and slippery and all that. Put that to the side where it's going to be safe. All right. Let's just see what kind of lather we get. I've consistently overloaded with this 
soap just because I, I really enjoy it but unfortunately I just had so many to to choose from to uh, some new ones to experience that I don't get back to it as often as I want to so I've been using the TFS soaps lately Chong Feng Sing Italian man, I'm sorry, a Chinese man came over to Italy, married an Italian woman, brought his Chinese soap making know-how, and basically created an Italian soap making company with a Chinese name. And they, I've been using the Linnea Intenso, two teaspoons, just went right for two. I've been using the Linnea Intenso line, and that's what it means, the Intense line, lately. And it is a triple milled line with a vegan nature to it. And in terms of uh, vegan soaps, it's really, really good. Definitely recommend them to anybody looking for um, kind of Italian scents with uh, vegan soap to it. Really happy to use those. Those are provided to me by a YouTube viewer named Gabe who wanted to try some triple milled soaps. Now, this fine soap is triple milled as well, but this one's tallow. The lather is going to perform just, a, it's going to feel a little bit, a little bit better to me. The vegan ones were no joke at all, of course, but and they have great slickness. And uh, he sent me those to, to just try out, and I'm going to run them through their paces a little bit, use them with some different brushes. And he made a point in a message to me saying that when he was researching those soaps, he didn't really find too many videos online that were in English, which kind of makes sense, you know, because it's an Italian soap. But let's see what we can do to change that, right? Get some English videos on those guys. I think it lathers a little better than Prix de Provence. Now, I love that warm, spicy scent of the number 63 from PDP. So I had the Bergamot Neroli, which had a little floral tweak to it because that's what Neroli is. It's the orange blossom. It's the smell of the oil from the orange blossom. Just published that video a few minutes ago. Three teaspoons now in the water, of water in the lather. The other one was uh, Mandarin Takibana. And uh, that one was mainly just a, a nice orange scent with a little bit of pineapple thrown in. Mandarin orange type scent. I really enjoyed it too. It was a little bit less feminine than the the one with uh, neroli because in addition to the orange blossom they put in some rose in there as well it wasn't feminine to my nose but it wasn't masculine either just kind of in between it was nice so we have got look at that awesome lather there So I'm glad to put out some videos on the Linnea Intensa line from TFS. And now I chose the fine, and it really works out that this happened to be the next fine soap in my in my stack. See these cool soap uh, Ceramic dishes have a, a groove around the bottom that matches the peak around the top, and so they stack. Pretty cool. And so whenever I use one of mine, I put it at the bottom of the stack after use, so the next one on top is the next one to enjoy. Well, this one happened to be the Italian citrus, which has got some orangeness to it. Yeah, it's not quite as orangey as the Mandarin one from TFS, but it's got some orange in it. And then also, this is a triple milled soap, just like the TFS. TFS is a vegan triple mill, and this is the tallow, tallow triple mill. A 
We're getting close here. We've got four teaspoons of water in this lather now. And fine can really handle a bunch of water. Yeah, and still needs some more. And uh, we can take a little bit of this excess. Break up some skin oils. Add another teaspoon, so that's five. And that may be where we land. So 250 shaves with a NASA. In 2018, about four days before August, I started using it. August, with the shave community that I'm often a part of, is called Austere August. And you choose, if you're going to participate, you choose a, a setup to use. Maybe the same soap through the whole time. Maybe the same everything. Maybe the same aftershave, the same soap, the same brush, same razor. Mostly I was going, going to do the same blade, but that year I decided to. I really enjoyed the Nasset. Hadn't used, hadn't seen it too much and too many times in terms of other people's shave of the days postings and things like that. So, And it had been giving me some, some really good shaves. So I decided to use it for my, for my month. And I, I, did, I had never taken one very far before. Look at that. There we go. And I, I hoped that it would last the month. Little did I know I'd be here with 250 uses on it. It lasted the month, no problem. So I said, hey, let's just see how far this guy will go. Ended up getting to 100. That was my first time. Water on the face one more time. So it got to a hundred and it kind of felt like it, it was fine. It wasn't really going to stop. So I said, okay. So I kept going, got to 200, pretty wild. Now we're at 250 and I kind of think it's going to make it to 300. This lather feels just amazing creaminess. Probably still needs a little bit more water. Nice and creamy. Look at the texture there on my cheek. See how it's got hills and valleys and kind of a thickness to it. If you can see it built up around my neck here, you can see the layers. Now it's really kind of keeping its shape and stuff. It uh, is going to enjoy some more water. This may be a six teaspoon shave in terms of the water I'll need to add. Looks like 20 seconds was still too much load time. Turning my head so the water doesn't drain out the bottom of the handle. Yeah, I've got so much lather. This excess that's gathering around, I don't even really need to keep it. The scent on this one has faded a little bit over time. Had it for a couple years. I 
There we go. So that is six teaspoons and it is not complaining about too much water. Just kind of smooth it out a little bit. And I could go more if I wanted to. So I thought this soap might be a good one to follow the TFS triple mill. So I can uh, sample a be reminded of a tallow triple mold. feel no tugging which is quite remarkable considering the age of this blade the what matters is geometry the edge is you know dulling gradually over time as I keep using it so if I keep finding razors that for the geometry it's conducive to a good cut who knows, I'm, I just don't know when this guy's going to quit. And yesterday I got a really good, good shave with it. Nice close shave. And rinse. Alright. So we can go back into the bowl. Pick up some more lather. Don't have to do too much scrubbing for my skin's sake since we already did it on the first pass. Could have added some water to the bowl. Why don't we just roll with it and see what happens. And uh, just like yesterday, I want to do another with the grain pass here. This handle is thin, but it's also dense because it's solid. And so the grande handle is thicker, but it's hollow. And so this guy is nimble. But still gives me kind of a a good feel because of the density because it's so because it's got some weight to it and there we go very comfortable pass and a little partial rinse now and now we'll do the third pass. I'll probably do a four pass shave today. I'm just kind of enjoying that. The beard's got a little bit of water in it, but that's kind of cool because this lather needs some water. I intentionally didn't squeeze it out like I normally do. This is a creamy, luxurious lather. Definitely might normally add some more water to it. Cross grain now. First pass is always the, got the most blade feel. So it's always a uh, downhill after that. 
and this one was just, I don't even know if it was tuggy at all. Just felt the blade a little bit. Now I'm going to do this pass right here. Cross grain, but the other direction. See if I can get those little troublemakers right there next to my Adam's apple. And that's three. Let's do one more just for fun. All right, let's just see if the fourth pass takes care of business nicely. So this is a, a mix that you might want to use if you just want to go for the creaminess. Don't necessarily want it to be super slick. get a luxurious feel from this soap. Didn't need to load for 20 seconds. I can back it off more. And we'll repeat the same pattern just as this as the one I just did. You can feel free to change yours up if you want. I don't do it against the grain. It gives me irritation cuts and things so if you want to add an against the grain pass to your routine that is kind of what a lot of guys do to get a really nice close shave And here we are after the shave. If I take some water on my hand, kind of go over my face, does it kind of activate some lather? Does it turn into something super slick? Yeah, it is. So that is kind of confirmation that it, the uh, lather could definitely have taken some more water. I'm just curious, we'll minute we'll look at the lather, you know, stretch it around, see how it differs from my usual lather that's just chock full of water. All right, rinse time. I don't think I got as close of a cut today, and to be honest, I think it's probably the lather. That uh, it's a little thicker than usual, and so I think that kind of kept me from getting as close. I really think it did. A little bit more of a shadow here. It's cut pretty well but just a little bit more of a shadow than I got yesterday. But uh, face feels great. Very, very, very close on the cheeks. And uh, and not, not really too many length, not really too many hairs with some length on them there. Um, so it's a, it's a good shave, it's a win. And let's take a look at this lather from Fine. I think the Fine Lather can really compete with the big boys, any of them, that's for sure. So, the kind of lather we get, and this is a, this is if you're going creamy, drier than I usually like mine. Let's bring it over to the fingertips and gather it there. Holding on to its structure pretty well. And the slickness is just nuts. It's got its higher viscosity because of the creaminess, because the not quite as much water as it usually I usually put in it. And it but it luxurious is the word you'd use for this one right here. And just a uh, buttery, palpable, very in a different class from like the vegan TFS soaps I've used lately. And to be honest, really any, I haven't had a, haven't felt a vegan soap that, you know, feels like this. 
Um, that's just the nature of tallow. You know, that's why it's used in so many soaps. And so this is just crazy. This, I mean, it's, it's, there's a light soapy slickness to those uh, tallow soaps. And sometimes it's, it's thinner than that. And I'll call it a watery slickness, but that is not at all what you get here. There is this film that's on your fingers and it is just amazing. Very cool. can ever keep my keep one finger clean when I do that so I can pause hit the pause button on the camera and here's the little guy after a good towel stropping looking forward to many uses with him and he's kind of a short guy compared to many other brushes but he's got a dense uh, resin handle it's got a little bit of weight to it and the saddle here Really helps you hold on to it even when you're bowl lathering and the handle's all slippery. Right now I might prefer another three millimeters or so, four millimeters of length to just give a softer feel. But as the tips keep splitting, it'll get softer and softer. And so I may not, I may be glad for exactly his current measurements after 200 uses or whatever it takes. All right, very good. Okay, Nasset, you did a fine job. And I've got some D503. I think that's Sterling's scent that's modeled after Mont Blanc. Maybe Legend, is it? So let's throw a little bit of that on. Kind of a formal cologne type type scent. I don't like a lot of those. I don't have a lot of those in my collection. Kind of a, a dark, not dark, uh, just more a little more dry. Uh, the lighter colognes in the aquatics is kind of what I, I major on from Sterling. But this is one of those deals, maybe uh, Black Friday or something. I decided to try it out, and I, I like it. I like it every once in a while. So six teaspoons of water was used in the lather. 20. Yep. 20 seconds of loading. I did bloom the puck for just a minute or two. Put a little bit of water on it. Didn't need to do that. I could probably do a 20 second load next time and not bloom the puck. And that might be about right because it wouldn't pick up quite as much soap. So that's kind of uh, where the fine. Who knows with the tobacco. I have started thinking I might not even bloom it next time because when I bloom it, it just saves you time for loading, but not, you don't really need too much. And so I might, this kind of feel, this soap feels the same way. Um, and so maybe I might uh, be able to do a 20 or 30 second load time uh, and not, not bloom it and have that be right. So I might, I might do that with next time with a fine soap as well as the tobacco and we'll just see kind of how it, how it ends up. Okay, a good little shave. Could get a little closer, you know, next time, but that's all right. Um, told you all the measurements. I think we're good to go. Don't know what we have in store for next time, but, uh, uh, oh, you know what I've got here? I might probably use in the next uh, while is a uh, lot of used puck of Pharaoh's Dream Sickle. It's got some spices, some orange in there. Really looking forward to trying that guy out. The name kind of put me off. I've read about it, but um, I thought the Egyptian, you know, part of the name might be a little too spicy in a way that I wouldn't like. And then the dream sickle made it seem kind of milky and, and that kind of thing. Uh, uh, a twist of that, a twist off of orange that was kind of a little... Uh, milky or watered down or something. I don't know. It just put me off a little bit. And then I uh, read about it and somebody kind of countered my assumptions. And I thought, okay. And then maybe the next week somebody put one up on the Shave Bazaar. And so I thought, excellent. I'll grab it. 
Now I have it. Well, I think we're good. Hey, guys, thank you so much for watching. This is Sugar Daddy Shays, and this has been 250 on the NASA. Can you believe that? Now, am I going to use this NASA um, until it ends? Sure. I hope it goes to 365. Wouldn't that be crazy? I just hope it goes to 300. I think that would be cool, too. Um, but the... Uh, the next time I use a NASIT, let's pretend like uh, in a week I use it and it's done, totally done. Uh, the next time I use a NASIT, I want to run it up this high again? Probably not. I'll pick another blade to do that with. But uh, with NASITs, I might run them up to 40, uh, 50, 30, you know, somewhere around there. And then before I start new ones. Um, so uh, it still becomes a super budget blade when you do that. And uh, But I don't need to push it too far because uh, after all, when I use them in the higher numbers i have to aggressive i have to use my aggressive razors uh, more often i use my mild razors less and i really really enjoy my mild razors um, so there we go there we go 250 is down and uh hope there was something in here for you a video uh, something in this video that's going to be good for you this is sugar daddy chaves you take care good night